Hey guys, John over here at Powerhouse. Today we're finishing up one of our custom built 2332s. This one's going in a VW trike. It's for a customer of ours named John Emmerich. And it has the dual 44 Webers. And I wanted to share this with you today because we're just about to finish it. And a lot of the times customers don't get to see what's underneath the fan shroud when we're doing something like this. And this one in particular has a whole ton of options, powder coating, Customer requested the wrinkle black on the case. We normally don't powder coat cases, but he wanted it to look like, like his Harley cases have the powder coat, the wrinkle black. And I thought, well, let, let's go ahead and do that. You know, we, we've powder coated them a few times. It's a real pain to do that because you have to strip everything, take every stud, nut, bolt out, and then spend a ton of time taping off where you don't want the paint. So even when you get it back, there's a bunch of work tapping threads and, and getting everything set. But that goes just like anything else that we're powder coating. I mean, it basically has to come completely apart. Let me show you the fan. So here's the fan. You can see that it's taped off inside where we didn't want any paint, but you can see the excess flash that we're still gonna have to, you know, sand it out and smooth it out. And then we've gotten the inner, the upper pulley is anodized. Uh, we're gonna swap these Phillips screws out for some black Allen heads. And you can see the flash in here. We, we're gonna have to clean all that up. And the same thing with the carburetors. These are just set on there for mock-up purposes, but you can see we're gonna have to scrape the edges of where the air fuel mixture screws go in and um, round the edges. Just clean them up a bit before we put them final assembly. We didn't talk about the heads or pistons, painting them or powder coating because they don't really show. But when I started putting it together, I know it's going to be a trike, so it doesn't have the front and rear tins. So I thought, you know, let's 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 put a little black paint on those and see. You know. So like I said, this one has a whole bunch of extra details, like the Bergman pulley. That's normally they don't come anodized; it just comes in um, silver, you know, silver polish, and it, and it and it's just flat in the front. So what we do is I chuck it up on the lathe and and, and just mill it out to get a just just to get a look similar to the upper pulley and the pulley nut i haven't found a real good pulley nut what you see there is just basically a probably an aftermarket scat pulley nut we checked it up in the lathe and um, faced it and squared the edges off and uh, since i didn't really want it chrome or silver and uh options for that you know i haven't really found a good option to make it black but what i do is i beat that up until it's almost red and then dip it in oil and gives it kind of a brownish coating. But anyway, that's something we might find a black one down the road. And we're using the cap head, Allen uh, cap head nuts, you know, filling in any of the holes in the case that we're not using. We're trying to fill it in. We've got the MST valve covers and I've got the cap head Allens in there. And then the red horse fittings and you buy the black on black fittings and then you can you can buy the red uh, the red end separate so that you can have the mixture of red. One of the other things we did is we took all the Bernie Bergman pieces for like the tensioner, the tensioner right here and the little clamps on the side here and the oil block off. Again, you won't see the oil block off, but we were getting things done anodized. So we sent that in at the same time. And then air cleaners, I believe these are just the CB, CB aluminum air cleaners and we had them powder coated. This one has the JC pushrod tubes red anodized and the JC power flow pump cover with the by, the return bypass. The pipe came with black fittings, but it was silver. So what you see there is just a little bit of black, black marker from a distance. It don't look so bad. Just little details. He's going to have to make a custom exhaust. I'm not sure what he's going to do, but we're going to run the crush gaskets with the lock nuts. A lot of guys like those little aircraft nuts. Those are pretty cool. They look real cool, but they don't have, they're not locking. So especially with these crush gaskets, if, if they get loose, you'll, you'll blow a gasket instantly. So we use the lock nuts. I know some people don't like them at all because they're hard to get off, but that's just the point. We don't want them to come off. It's got the Kennedy 2100 pound clutch. And it's got the, the wrinkle black alternator straps. I thought when we did that, I wasn't sure when they bend or if it'll crack, but they, they seem pretty durable. So we'll give that a shot, see how that works out. So we'll get these carburetors back together. You can see all the parts laid out here. We'll get those back together. Get the fan, pulley, 
alternator back on, set up the linkage, put the fan shroud on. We're gonna have to run some more uh, fuel, still braided lines for the fuel system, and make a custom wiring harness for the, the alternator and the oil pressure switch, and uh, a few more things. But maybe this weekend we'll have it complete and running, and uh, we'll update with another video. But thanks for watching, guys.